Hello class 10 students. In this video, I am going to give 100% guaranteed questions for board examination from class 10 mathematics chapter 1. And uh, now I will give 10 questions. All the 10 questions are 100% guaranteed board exam question paper for 2020 21. And now the first question is HCF of 45 and 105 is 15. Find the LCM. And you know the LCM into HCF is equal to product of product of numbers. If there are two numbers, LCM into HCF of that two number is the product of that two numbers. That is the formula. And uh, the HCM for 45 and 105, then 45 and then 105. LCM, LCM into HCM is how many given? 15. Then LCM is equal to 45 into 105 divided by 50 and uh, you can cancel common factors here is 3 then 3 into 105 is equal to 3350 350 this is the answer for uh, LCM of these two numbers is uh, 350 now question number 2 explain whether 3 into 12 into 101 plus 4 is a prime number or opposite number. And you know, prime number is a number having only two factors, number 1 and the number itself. Okay. And composite number means a composite number has other factors other than 1 and the number itself. Now, in this question, there is a common factor. 4 is there, common factor 4 is there and uh, you can take that common factor 4 outside this number you can write 3 into 12 into 101 plus 4 is equal to in this 12 there is a common factor 4 here is also 4 if you are taking common factor 4 from here 4 take outside here 3 into here if you are taking 1 more 3 into 101 plus if you are taking a 4 from here plus 1 ok now it is 4 into 3 into 3 9 9 into 909 plus 1 is equal to 4 into 910 and uh, this number has a factor 4 other than number 1 and the number itself Therefore, this number is a composite number. Okay. Question number three. Find the LCM and HCF of 3930 and 1800 by prime factorization. The answer is like this. 3930. First, you have to divide with the two. 1965 then 3 6 5 5 again 5 it is a 131 and uh, next number 1800 2 you can take 900 2 again it is 450 now 3 Again 2, 225. Again 3, 75. Again 3, 25. Again 5, 5. Now you can write 3930 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5 into 131. 1800 is equal to 2. 1, 2, 3, 2 cube into 
3 square into 5 of square. HCF. What is common? 1, 2 is common. 3 is common. 5 is common. 2 into 3 into 5 is equal to 30. And LCM. But first write common 2 into 3 into 5. Then non common numbers. Other than non common here, 131 into. After taking 1, 2 here, 2 square is there. After taking 1, 3, 3 is there. Then after taking 1, 5, 5 is there. Okay. Now multiply all. You will get the answer as 2000. 2 lakhs, 35,800. Okay? Yes. Question number 4. Prove that root 2 is irrational. We know root 2, root 3, everything is irrational. We have to prove it. First, we are using a method proof by contradiction. Proof by contradiction. And uh, First, we will assume that uh, root 2 is uh, rational and uh, at the end, uh, we will get the conclusion that root 2 is uh, not uh, rational, it is uh, irrational. That is the method. First, uh, we will take root 2 is rational, then root 2 is equal to a by b or b by q, where a and b are, they have no common factor other than one, co prime. And uh, if there is a common factor for a and b other than one, we cannot equate it to root 2. First, we will square both sides of this one. Root 2 square is 2. A by B, the whole square is A square by B square. And uh, there is a... Uh, a square can be written as 2 into some other quantity. That is, 2 is a factor of A square. 2 is a factor of A square. Therefore, 2 is a factor of A. Now, let uh, A is equal to 2C. Subject this value in a statement 1. Wherever there is a put a 2c. 2c the whole square is 2b square. In this uh, statement, you have to put a, a is equal to 2c. 2c means uh, 2 into some other quantity. 2 square for c square, 2b square. Dividing both sides by 2. 2c square is equal to b square. Now we look at uh, b square can be written as 2 into some other quantity. Therefore, 2 is a factor of b square and 2 is a factor of b. Now, 2 is a factor of a and b. It contradicts our assumption that root 2 is rational. That means root 2 is not rational, root 2 is irrational. Question number 5. Prove that 2 root 3 minus 1 is irrational. For the answer, first 2 root 3 minus 1 is equal to a by b. And to transpose this minus 1 to this side. 2 root 3 is equal to a by b plus 1. Or 2 root 3 is equal to a plus b by b. Take this 2 to this denominator. That is a root 3 is equal to a plus b divided by 2b. Now a plus b by 2b is a a plus b divided by 2b is rational. But uh, root 3 is irrational. Therefore, a rational cannot become equal, equal to irrational. Therefore, 2 root 3 minus 1 is uh, irrational. That means uh, 2 root 3 minus 1 is uh, rational. That uh, assumption is wrong. Therefore, 2 root 3 minus 1 is uh, irrational. Question number 6. Has the rational number 441 divided by 2 square into 5 raised to 7 into 7 square a terminating or non-terminating decimal representation? Now, this is the uh, numerator is P, this is the Q. If Q is of the form 2 raised to 2 raised to N into 5 raised to M. That means factors of 2 or 5 or both 2 and 5. Here 2 and 5 also 7 is also there. Therefore, it is a non-terminating. 
Then write the 0.375 into P by Q4. That means uh, 0.375 is equal to 375 divided by 1000. Okay. Then 375 is, uh, if you are 375, we can take 3, 125, 5, 25, 5, 5. That means 3 into 5 cube divided by 1000 is 10 cube is equal to 3 into 5 cube divided by 10 is 2 cube into 5 cube. 5 cube, 5 cube cancel is equal to 3 by 2 cube is equal to 3 by 2 cube is how many? H. Question number H. Prove that 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. And uh, some of a rational number and irrational number is always irrational. To prove this is uh, irrational, first we are proving, assuming it uh, that uh, it is irrational, then it is A by B. Then A by B and B has no common factor other than 1. Then 2 root 5, transpose this 3 to the sides. 2 root 5 is A by B minus 3. 2 root 5 is A minus 3 B by B. Then 2 root 5 is uh, to bring this 2 here. A minus 2, 3 B by 2B. A minus 3B by 2B is uh, rational, but uh, root 5 is uh, irrational. Irrational cannot become equal to rational. Therefore, this assumption is wrong. Therefore, it contradicts our assumption that it is rational. Therefore, 3 plus 2 root 5 is uh, irrational. Now, question number 9. Check whether 4 is to n. 4 is to the power of n can end with the digit 0 for any natural number n. The answer is uh, 4 raised to n is equal to 2 square the whole raised to n. That is uh, 2 raised to the power of 2n. To end uh, a number 4 raised to n with a number 0, the, at least there should be a factor. There should be a factor 5. Therefore, in this uh, 2 raised to 2n, there is no factor 5. Therefore, 2 raised to 4 raised to n cannot end with the 0. The reason is a no factor 5. Now question number 10, write the decimal as function of 23 by 2 raised to 3 into 5 square. The answer is 2, 23. 23 you can write divided by 2 raised to 3 into 5 square. This is b by q form 2 raised to 3 into 5 square. Here is 3, here is 2. In order to combine this 2 and 5 to create 10, you need to get uh, one more 5 here. Therefore, 2 raised to 23 into multiply numerator and denominator with the 5. 2 cube into 5 square into 5. Here, 23 into 5 is 115. Divided by 2 into 5, the whole cube is equal to 115 divided by 2 into 5, 10 cube, how many? Thousands is equal to 0 0.115. This is the answer. And all these 10 questions are sure guaranteed questions. You may not get all the 10 questions, but the from these 10 questions, you may get the sure questions for the board examination. Okay, thank you for watching.